Howdy y'all, welcome back. We have another cool project today. It's a pair of old Gringo boots that got some holes in the soles. And we've got some issues here at the toe as well. You can see that hole? We gotta take care of that. Um, and basically what we came up with was a custom toe cap that's gonna go over that and cover that. And we did a little design where it's gonna kinda, I'll show you guys once we get to it. But we're gonna do new Vibram rubber soles on these boots. So this um, this customer can get a little bit more wear and tear out of them. New rubber heels, new welts with that toe cap. And these should be pretty dang cool after they're done. And yes, before you guys ask, this is a distressed boot and it's meant to look that way. So. We're gonna keep it as original as possible. We're not gonna be dying anything. We just wanna keep it the original look, um, but just get them back in working order. So let's get started. Let's start by taking it apart. There's the old heel. And I'm looking for my heel prior. Taking the heel block off, which is a stacked leather heel block. <laughs> which is on there pretty dang good. Oh, there we go. There's the heel block. Four nails holding it on. Not too bad. Held on very nicely and securely. And now, time to take the sole off. So I like to start from the back, especially with these cowboy boots. It kind of helps me get to the stitching of the sole a lot easier. Oh, wow, this leather is pretty old. It's just ripping. There we go. There it is. And then all these wood pegs. Try to go and cut all the stitching that's holding the sole on. Doesn't matter if we hit the welt or not, because it's going to get replaced either way. It's very interesting to see the different patterns how people walk where they walk heavier it's very it's, it's different with everybody she really wore down at the toe With these longer style soles and boots, the toes, you tend to drag your feet quite a bit. So the toes get worn out kind of prematurely. There's the shank. I'm gonna try my best to take this out without breaking the stitches. Which I don't think I'll have a choice. When the leather's this old, everything just seems to to tear and rip. I think it was this side. Ugh. 
Yep. Oh, there we go. That's what I wanted. They stitch it using a chain stitch. So that's why I'm able to just, most of the time, take the sole off. Uh, the welt off, I'm sorry. Whoa. Without having to cut the threads. But this leather is pretty dang dry. There you go. Now you got the inside of the shoe. And the footbed piece that you walk on. And now we gotta pull these threads out. It kinda looks like the footbed was damaged a little bit. But we'll go ahead and fix that as well. So we got it completely taken apart. Now, what we've got to do is make the little toe cap for the, to cover up the plastic piece. This is the, the steel, the steel, the toe counter or the toe puff. It's a plastic piece that helps to keep that shape, uh, the, the, the pointed shape in the leather. So the right way to do this is to have the last. The last is a piece of wood that they use like this to shape and form the leather around to make the shoe shape. Now I don't have a last that matches that. So I took a two by four and I sanded it down to a point, very similar in shape and size. And we're going to take this leather. Now this is black leather, but it's also kind of got a distressed look to it. So it kind of matches that piece and when it gets put on it'll it'll blend in and so that way it doesn't look brand new it kind of has it has that distressed look to it i think it'll look really good so what we got to do is take this piece outline on there and then i will I'll come back when i'm ready to form it around the toes so we got our piece we got our tacks and we got our leather piece cut out this is stretching spray. It's just a mixture of water and rubbing alcohol. And a 50-50 mixture. It's what we spray on shoes to stretch them and help keep that stretch. So I'm just going to generally place it centered onto, I'm gonna call this my last. That's legit, just the two by four that I shaped into the right size or shape or general shape that I need which will work just fine because we're not relasting or replacing any of the leather pieces on the toe so as long as I get a general shape I'll be able to do the final stretching and shaping on the shoe once I get once we put it on, I'll be able to do the final shaping and it looks just fine. It gets the perfect shape. Now I'm going to put some leather down. That way I don't mark up the, the toe with the leather piece. Alrighty. Now... I've done this, I wanna say, two, no, this is my second time doing this. Second time. Worked out the first two, the first time. And I have the other pair done. I finished the other one to this one already and it turned out pretty nice. So, we're going to do the same thing with this one. This pointed toe. The pointed toes 
are always the hardest because you have to stretch the leather all around that one area. Now I've been getting some questions about if I can make a pair of shoes, which I haven't made any pairs of shoes before. Okay, that's not gonna work. Now I know the process, not exactly, I haven't studied it. That's not looking right. I haven't studied the process, but like all the signs and the measurements and stuff like that. But I, Pretty sure if I tried, I can, but I would want to do a practice piece for myself before I go trying to do it for a paid customer. Because I just want to make sure that a customer is getting exactly what they want. And it's not going to be cheap. To get that done unfortunately because it's a lot of time and materials and skills that go into making a pair of boots so a good custom pair of boots can cost you anywhere from a thousand all the way up to two thousand I've heard some of them go all the way up to at least five grand before. Those are some pretty intricate looking boots. Definitely beautiful, beautiful boots. But, so for those of you wondering, no, I haven't made any pair of boots before. Pretty sure if I tried, I could. But I don't have the time right now to try. And this is going to take... Just this last of the toe is taking forever. So, I don't want to bore you guys, but I'm going to get this taken care of because I'll be here for like 20 minutes trying to figure this out and get all the wrinkles out because you don't want any wrinkles. You don't want any of that stuff on the toe because then it just looks bad. So, I will be back when it's all done. Alrighty, there we go. I got most of the wrinkles out. And a lot of it will go away once we put it onto the boots. Because, like I said, this is just to get us a general shape of that leather piece. And then once it goes on, you'll get that final shape. So, at this point, we just got to let this sit and dry, and then um, once we take it off, or at, at that point, then we got to do our little design. Let me show you what we did. This one's already done. So we kind of did, tried to tie into the little stitching design right here and along the uppers. Try to tie all that into place. It comes back up there same thing on that side so that's what we're gonna do these are done already they turned up pretty nice so after we let this dry we're gonna draw out our design cut it out stitch it on the shoe and then we'll be ready to move forward so it's the next day and we got it rough cut or not rough cut but rough scored very similar to what we have here we're trying to copy and follow all the designs up here with that to make it look like it was supposed to be like that. And now once we have our lines to follow, we're gonna take our razor blade and cut.
All right, so I got them, got it cut out. Now it's time to take all the nails out and see what we're left with. We got it stitched on. Now I peeled back the lining that we stitched it underneath. I also took out, this is that toe count. Remember that piece that you're able to see right here at the point? That's what you're seeing there. So um, took that out because it's like a hard plastic or a, um, what's it called? Fiberglass piece that goes in there. And so now, Time just to smooth everything out to its final dimensions. Glue the lining back in, and then that way there's no string right here and it's not stitched into the lining. So we're gonna glue the lining back, go ahead and stitch the footbed back into place with the new welt all the way around, and then it's home stretch from there. Got our welts here which is what's going to get stitched onto here. And then you have the sole goes on top and that gets stitched. So it's a solid black, but I want to kind of distress it a little bit. So we took some fine um, steel wool. I'm just going to rub it. And give it that distressed faded look. There we go. And it's, I know it's hard to tell in the picture, but it's kind of got that faded look compared to that dark look. The new welt stitched on. We got that toe cap put on and stitched. We got the bottom all set and ready to go. All the, the shank, the cork, the heel brands which is that back piece right here. It kind of makes it look like the, so the welt goes there and stops there. And then there's nothing here to give it that kind of, I don't know, thin profile. And then here it continues all the way around. Um, that's just how they make them. So we're gonna go ahead and put our new soles on and I'm gonna try my best to center everything. At least the, the logo and the pattern. Want that vibram right there in the center, and then kind of like the the V's that are in here. You want that centered as well, just just for aesthetics. For these soles, they the matching heels are that, but you can see it's not going to work with this smaller style heel block. Let's see if I can take it off for you. See so yeah, how the matching, it's supposed to go like that. But this is so thick and this is the smallest size that they have, it's just not gonna fit. So what I did was I took a scrap sole or an extra sole that I had like this, that I either messed up or something went wrong and I cut it into a size that's gonna get glued on to there. And then now you get a matching sole to a heel and it's not gonna be super thick and it's gonna be just as durable and look really great. So get this glued on, trimmed up, do the final trimming, cleaning, conditioning, and then we're all good. All right, welcome back. These are finally done and I am very happy with how they turned out. With that custom toe cap, I guess that you would call that toe cap, that we used to cover that hole right there at the toe. Um, and then we went with Vibram rubber soles. So we'll give this customer a little bit more traction and last a little bit longer than these leather soles.
that. She just wore whole straight through. Um, but yeah, pretty fun project from making this. I wouldn't call it a last. It's a toe form, toe shape. But making this and then shaping that leather around it to get that shape, that general shape we wanted. Stitching it on and putting it all back together. Took a little bit longer than we had wanted or that I had expected, but I'm very happy with it. To the customer that this belongs to, thank you for being so patient with us. It took a little bit longer to source out that leather. I don't want to go with a straight black because then it'd look brand new and wouldn't match the distressed uppers. So it took a little bit, and then it took a little bit to get it to actually be shaped correctly and get it to fit. But in the end, we got it taken care of. And she should be able to wear these boots for a very long time now. So thank you guys for joining me. I appreciate you watching this video. Um, if you have any questions, you can go ahead and email me. I will go ahead and include the email link down below in the description. Um, you can also follow me on Instagram uh, and yeah, Instagram. Uh, I have a lot more shorter style videos. I did a short little reel on this one as well. Short little 60 second video. Shows you the details. Um, and I got I post a lot, of, a lot of other things on there as well. So go ahead and like and hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed and want to see more. Stay tuned for the next video.